So, hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now, it's always extraordinary when you decide to make a content about something a little bit important, but something stupid has to come in front of it anyway, because it just has to, and it really just needs to be called out for how fucking stupid it is. And today's one is this fucking statue. Yeah, this statue. I am not a big fan of this statue, I don't want it there, I don't live in Bristol, but I don't care, it doesn't represent what I want to represent, and it's also criminal damage. And also, I forgot, this represents mob rule now, because we can just put statues, take other ones down, and place them wherever we want new ones, right? But may I guess... There's probably more to this than I probably understand, because I'm just probably just racist. So, what happened here that caused this statue to magically appear out of thin fucking air? Well, what happened was, at about a week ago, there was a woman who decided to stand in front of the statue, put her fist up in the air, and then her husband took the picture of her doing that, and then a week later, they decided to make a 3D copy of her doing that, and then chucked it onto the statue in the middle of the night when the council couldn't do anything, and then left it there. Oh yeah, we should really remember what happened last time a statue was there, and Edward Coulson's statue was taken down. Here's a flashback. That would be it. That would have been it. There would have been nothing more to it. But the amount of shit that has came about this and what will come of this will cause a lot of problems. Such as the news media outlining this entire event. To be honest, I haven't seen that much bias towards the statue. I don't know if it's because the media outlets are going at for the the statue or they're just like ah this could be difficult to talk about i mean to be honest itv stv and um rt and um bbc haven't really done that much to talk about it that much but channel 4 Holy shit, guys. I mean, these guys, these guys went fucking low. And we're going to show you the video that I played on with them showing the actual thing, because you can't play the video because there's music. So, I'm going to show you this one. I'm going to show you the interview they had with the RT as well. This woman showed up. But this is the tweet that they sent, Channel 4 sent, during this video. Out with the slave trader, in with black power. The statue of Edward Coulson has been un unofficially replaced with a s unofficially replaced with a sculpture of a Black Lives Matter protest. What the fuck, you bunch of low life pricks! Out with the slave trader, in with the black power. What the fuck does that supposed to mean? What the hell? In with the black power. Are you the? The new KKK, the new Black Panther movement. What the fuck? What the hell is that supposed to mean? We know you're a bunch of low lives anyway, but what the fuck? And it was it was so cringy to you know find out the statue got placed up there in the first place, and it was just oh my god, I I don't get it. I mean I really don't get it, but. It looks like there's a lot of people that's going woke about this already. But there has also been talk about the statue being taken down. But we should maybe take a look at what the this woman says during her RT interview. I think it's amazing. Um, it looks like it belongs there. It looks like it's been there forever. Uh, well, it came back obviously um, on, at the Black Lives Matter protest on the Sunday. I stood on the plinth and my husband had taken a picture of me. Um, and posted that on his social media. 
um, and it kind of went viral. I'd like the council to keep it here because obviously what it represents and who was there prior. Um, it's a decision that they're going to have to make. I think the most important thing is that something is up there replacing um, Edward Colston and for people to discuss, educate, learn and just keep talking about, you know, BLM. Well, that's just fucking great of you. You know what? That's just so amazing, so brave, and so thoughtful of you. I forgot what I'm talking about. And plus, don't talk about BLM as a good movement. Do you think the statue's going to help that any black person's going to walk past it? Are they going to go past it and think, Oh my god, there's a statue! That's going to help me! Never does. Never does anything. Why the fuck do you think it would help you? And it, it, it's so cringe, guys, but we know nothing's going to happen, right? Because remember the last time the police got involved? Remember the, what was it, the chief constable or something? He was like, they had every right to protest and take down statues and cause criminal damage? Yeah, why? I don't fucking know. It was really weird why they thought that was a good idea. And it, it just, it was annoying. If you want to hear me talk about it, there is a video about it, it's only like, 15 videos down, but we should maybe take a quick look at the article by the BBC because there's some cringe on this article. The Black Lives Matter protest statue appears in Edward Coulson's Plymouth. A figure of the Black Lives Matter protest has appeared on the empty Plymouth of the previously occupied statue of the slave trader Edward Coulson. The sculpture of protester Jen Reed was erected early on Wednesday in Bristol city centre where the Coulson statue was pulled down last month. Miss Leed has photographed standing on the empty Plymouth after the Coulson statue was toppling during the march. Artist Mark Quinn said the sculpture did not have a formal consent. No, but you did have plenty of white guilt in you, so good on you. He said the black lizard statue called Surge of Power was only meant to be temporary. Yeah. Sure, you just want to be temporary, then you want to do a white guilt to build over you and tell everyone how amazing your sculpture was and you'd get your art expedition and everything. Shut the fuck up. Mr. Quinn said he was he was impressed to create the it either seeing the imagine of Miss Lead standing on the Plymouth with her hand raised during the Black Lives Matter protest on the 7th of June. We don't fucking care. Um, he then Contacted Miss Lee through the social media, they worked together on the statue they elected shortly before 4.30 BST. So they did this illegal hours before they put up a legal statue, okay. Um, I think it was something people in Bristol really appreciate seeing. <laughs> oh, fuck no. They did not uh, mislead. Uh, mislead said that. No way they're appreciating that. After the last time Bristol had shit show, the Edward Coulson statue should be knocked down. No way they're going to let this happen again. And there's actually some messages on the Twitter pages uh, saying that we're actually going to take down the statue. Now, if that statue gets taken down, people are going to go fucking nuts. Or the BOM is going to go nuts. Because they say, oh, you're taking down the patriarchy. But I bet, I bet this wouldn't make any difference if someone did the Nelson Mandela. And the place that were hit the statue. I wonder what would happen then. Or if they the place did with Carl Benjamin, maybe. Nigel Farage. Boris Johnston. What about Al Qaeda? <laughs> oh, that would be a fucking funny one to put on there. But then again, uh, we know um, Nelson Mandela was a partial terrorist anyway. We know that because it's official. He was on the record for 50 years. You don't get put on the record for 50 years for no reason. What if Tony Robertson was on that? thing and did not a nazi salute what if any of them did that holy shit you would go nuts but just wait that if that statue does go down this is twitter after all but i can see the statue being top down and flown about somewhere maybe even to the fucking liver as well like the last one um my husband took the photo on the protest as she took the social media he was contacted by mark queen who contacted myself. He was a studio for with 121 cameras, standard 3D print, blah de blah. Miss Leeds said the sculpture was important to me and helped me keep my journey towards racial justice and equality moving. Oh my fucking god.
She said it felt overwhelming impulse to climb on the Plymouth last month's protest. No fucking wonder it wouldn't it. You'd feel that, wouldn't you? Because the police were allowing you to do whatever the fuck you wanted. And then this happens. And then you stand on top. Hey, I can do this. I am powered. Yeah, that's exactly what it fucking looks like. This, all you're doing is making it look cringy as hell. That's all it is. It's cringy. When I stood there on the Plymouth, I raised my arm and the black power salute was totally synonymous, she said. Oh my fucking god. I can't believe I'm leading this. I don't even think about it. It was like electrical charge through my... It was my running through me. Oh my fucking god. This sculpture was making me stand for my mother, my daughter, and for other black people like me. Oh my fucking god. Clinch. How is it ever going to help them? Is your daughter going to say, Oh look, that's my mum. She stood on top of her statue and that was it. Moving on. Mr... Uh, Mr. Quinn said the sculpture was meant to be a temporary installation to continue the conversation about racism and did not know how long it would remain in place. Not long. Okay, that's that's enough because the rest of the article is just fucking worthless. Um, yeah, it's cringe, guys. It's cringe. And there's word of the city council uh, doing something. I know in the article there it says it did, they didn't say anything, but the mayor seems to be very ominous on it. He doesn't seem to be choosing sides he's he's being very careful what he says because if he wants the support to take it down he's gonna get a shitload of trouble from the BOM and if he says he's gonna keep it he's gonna get a shitload of trouble from the nationalists both deservingly right so because he said I think the words were the people of Blister will decide about how the statue if it was gonna remain there or not and does anyone remember the last time that happened with a statue? They said they were going to take down the Edward Coulson one, but they never did. And then they tore it down. Weird, eh? So guys, thank you very much for watching this video to the very end. That means I'm excellent for this channel. I mean, if you want to support this channel even further, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe this video or the channel in any other sort of way. And if you want to support this channel even further than that, which would be appreciated anyway, please be sure to click any links below for alternative means where we can get more content out to you guys. And remember, hail the Empire!